Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to have hot and cold places. So this lesson is related to the last one that we had, which is weather. And we said that weather can change from day to day and from time to time. It changes in short period of time. So today to learn about the hot places and cold places, we should know why these places stay the same. Why can we describe them saying they are hot and cold? So to learn about this, we should know the new word climate. Climate. Climate means the usual weather of a place, which means a weather that less changeable, that does not change continuously or doesn't change in a short time so climate stays for too long time let's have an example for climate to understand this here we have in this picture you can see Antarctica and you know it's snowy it's cold and it's icy all during the year so we can describe it saying the climate of Antarctica is cold because it doesn't change okay so climate doesn't change and when we describe a place that it is weather does not change we say it's climate okay the climate it stays for long time and it doesn't change so here you can see we have Sudan Sudan is hot it's a very hot country and even when it gets colder we don't have snow so that means sudan is very hot country so we can say the climate of sudan is hot because this doesn't change and even when it change it changes slightly and it doesn't change completely from hot it becomes cooler it doesn't become snowy okay so climate is a usual weather for a place and it doesn't change okay it, it stays the same for a long period of time it may last for centuries for uh, decades and for too many years okay so this is climate and when we describe the climate we are talking about something that doesn't change uh, continuously okay so let's have the first place that has its special climate which is equator here you can see the globe in the middle of the globe you can see a red line this red line divides globe into two equal parts you can see it's in the middle of the globe so this line is called equator equator its name is equator and equator is a line that divides the globe this line is not real it's an imaginary line okay so equator is very hot all during the year the reason why is it hot because it faces the sun here you can see this is the sun and the sunlight hits the equator directly that's why equator is very hot all during the year so the first uh, reason why some countries are hot because they are close to equator they are near to equator and the sun hit these countries okay so that they are hot and the most hottest, hottest country or hottest part of the Earth is the equator. Equator is the hottest part of the Earth. And the more the country is close to equator, it is hotter. Now let's see another thing. Polar regions. Polar regions mean 
polar areas or polar places. What do we mean by polar regions or polar areas? Here you can see. The North Pole, the very top of the planet Earth, and the South Pole, the very bottom of the planet Earth. They are so far away from the equator, see? They are very far from the equator. That's why they are cold all during the year. As we said, when the country is close to equator, it's hot. And when it's far away from the equator, it's cold. So these countries or these parts of the planet Earth, North Pole and South Pole, are very cold because they are very far away from the equator. And the sun does not reach them. The sunlight doesn't reach them directly, okay, in straight lines. You can see here, North Pole and South Pole are snowy or icy. You can see these animals which live in the North Pole and South Pole, polar bears and penguins. They live there because they have thick skin and they can adapt themselves to living in to live in these very cold places okay the third place is mountains mountains are cold and the more you climb the mountains the colder it gets assume that you are in the very top of the climate so you can see it's snowy up Okay, the summit or the very top point of the climate is snowy because the more you climb or the higher you go on the mountain, the colder it gets. Okay, so when you climb the mountain, you will feel cold and the more you climb, the colder you feel until you reach the very top of the climate and you will find that it's snowy or it's icy why because the temperature goes down okay it decreases the temperature decreases as you are climbing the mountain for each 300 meters the temperature decreases two degrees okay The last place that we are going to talk about is the sea. Sea is very different. The sea is very different. Why? Because the places or the areas that are near the sea, their climate is different from the, uh, from the areas in the land, which means if the land is hot, Places near the sea will be cooler, and if the land is cold, places near the, e uh, the sea will be hotter or warmer. The reason why, because the sea can keep the heat inside it. The sea absorbs the sunlight and keep it inside. So when it's hot, the sea will be cooler because the sunlight is absorbed by the sea. Or the sea keeps the sunlight and keeps the heat inside. And when it's cold, the sea is warm because the, uh, the heat is kept inside the sea. Okay, that's all for today. Now you know the cold places and the hot places. As we said, equator is very hot place because it's uh, because the sunlight hits the equator directly, and we say that countries near the equator are hot. And the more you go close to the equator, the climate is hotter. And the more you go far away from the equator, the climate gets colder okay and we say that polar regions are very cold because they are very far away from the equator 
we talked also about mountains and we said they are cold and the summit of the mountain is snowy or icy and last thing is the sea and we said it has an opposite climate of the land because the sea can keep the heat inside goodbye